The world is uncomfortable for tall people. Being tall isn't that great, by the way, little guys. There is a height that's good for men. It's between 5'10 and 6'2. Over that, you become a, a white walker from Game of Thrones. I'm part comedian, part circus attraction. People can stand right in front of me and have their picture taken like a tourist attraction. Like I'm the Washington Monument. Dogs view me as a legitimate heat source. It's hard being a giant in Hollywood. Most actors are really small. They make me wear these absurd clothes and then they call me a whore. Gene Simmons gets it. Tall entertainment guys have to stick together. I'm 6'7", it's like weird. Like people are just like, how? Like it's not fun. And the problem is when you're tall, uh, people expect to be good at tall activities. You know, they're like, do you play basketball? I'm like, nah, I don't. They're like, why not? I'm like, I don't know, I wasn't good at it, man. They're like, you're wasting it. And what did I do with all of this God-given height? I play the piano, a skill that requires zero height. I'm a bull in a china shop, and my wife reminds me that all the time. Did it magnifying glass? Yeah. Awesome. You, you be careful, you're going to break something. She disapproves. Is that Eleanor Roosevelt? I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I think a lot of problems in life are because of perspective. I just don't think little people know what it feels like to go through that. I ask podcast listeners to send in stories about height because I'm trying to understand how everyone feels about their size point of view is important. The short people, they don't know what's going on. They keep asking all, oh, what's the weather up there? It's like, shut up, you know the weather, you read it every morning. It's that same crap that you deal with. That's amazing. Hi Alan, it's Jonathan, and here's a quick extreme height story. Now myself, I'm only a measly six foot tall, but my good friend Pat, he's about six six, and many years ago, we were playing Wii Sports Tennis, and I was getting very competitive, and rather than doing this, my friend Pat, he starts playing, he thinks he's playing real tennis, he starts doing this, ah! And the point at which his height becomes a problem is when he decides to do a real serve. So if I do it, it would look like this. But when Pat did it, because he's six foot six, he throws it up, doesn't throw anything up, he's playing Wii tennis, he pretends to throw it up, swings, cracks his hand on the ceiling, breaks his middle finger. Never would have happened if he was less than six six. So there you go. Tall people problems are just as real as video game injuries. Life is all about perspective. Everything my dog Sophie sees from her point of view reaffirms her belief that she is in fact Batman. We should get the portraits of the dogs painted like that. How awesome would that be? Would you awesome? Oh, it looks just like Sophie, Honey, and Benny. It does. There's Honey, there's Sophie, there's Benny. You may see them as dogs, but I see them as wild stallions. Now it's time to hear what short people have to say. What sucks about being five foot one for me is people are always cutting me in line when it comes to food. So if I'm putting my name down at the hostess stand at a restaurant, I'll try to go right in front of me. Every My time. friend Chris Milhouse, who opens for me a lot on the road, is super funny and super short. And I think it makes him kind of angry. There's always some girl looking at her dude like, hey, you gonna clap, asshole? <laughs> it's our fifth fucking day, you gonna clap? Whenever he intros me, I feel like he's showing everyone a new species of human he found in Narnia. Guy. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, people don't realize, like, you know, there's really extremes of being small and really, or being really tall like you. Being a little guy like me, like, I get bullied a lot. Like, out of nowhere. Seriously? And it's not, I don't, pe people don't do it intentionally. People literally, like, like, you'll see, like, kind of like fat dudes or just bigger people in general. They'll come in and just kind of almost push me out of the way sometimes. <laughs> the without even, like, realizing it or not giving a fuck. 
They're just like, oh, I'm just gonna go through, and this little guy's just gonna move for me. Well, you know what I get is a look of fear. Yeah. Not fear, but people literally look at me like I'm a monster. <laughs> like they're seeing Sasquatch. Or yeah, like little kids will just start crying. Yeah. I've made little kids cry just by standing there. Uh, yeah. You gotta stop doing that over. I'm like, Rawr! no. Yeah, they just start crying. <laughs> I'm not a monster. I'm just a man who wants to go to concerts without everyone getting pissed off that they can't see what's going on. I had two choices in life. I always stand in the back of the concert, or I could become the concert. I chose become the concert. Furniture is a pain in the ass, literally. Headrests don't reach my head. This chair. That's nice. This is my wife and I trying to find me a chair. What is this thing for? It's for your head when you're leaning back. I don't think you're ever going to use it though. She likes my height because our kids will be perfectly average. Her little Latina ass needs the gringo grande con grande benga to balance that out. All right, you're done. No, this might be the chair. <laughs> you're a loon. The more, the more, the more tall you are, the more tougher you are. Let's play all. That little fellow's gonna grow up and be disappointed when he learns that people don't fight anymore. It's actually a felony. And height will just bring him sore knees on an airplane. These are my knees. This is not okay. A kid will also learn he has to be big and strong because his friends will just start jumping on him like a trampoline. This is my buddy Andy. He jumps on me. Hopefully life for our son will be better than it is for either of us and he can actually use cardio equipment. I mean, what the hell is up with this? Who is this for? In little guys' minds, life of the tall man is like a dream. It's a perfect day at a beach and unlimited athleticism. Everyone smiles. That's not how it is at all, little man. So I started going up to short fellas. And I'm like, hey, do you get shot out of a cannon? <laughs> you should. You'd be so good at the circus, do you do that? Seriously, what would be better than flying through the air? Basketball looks exhausting. Small people can literally fly through the air. <laughs> You're wasting it. Do you make toys for Santa Claus? You should, look at me, you should. Inside me is a small man trying to get out. I'd love to be one of Santa's little guys. A little dude that no one notices. My point is, no one is completely satisfied with who they are physically. And if anyone ever becomes truly happy with themselves, people will think you're a dick for it. My dog Benny really wants that food and he can't get to it and that struggle makes him kind of happy. Maybe unsatisfaction is part of what it means to be happy. I probably enjoy dreaming of being a little elf more than if I actually had to make toys. And short people are probably happier thinking if they were just tall, they'd play for the Clippers, when in reality, the odds are they'd just be another awkward asshole like me. Maybe wanting to be someone else isn't so bad after all. Dreaming's fun. Sophie is Batman. <laughs>